Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Ryan Makes Sense. We are going to take a look at our Robin Hood Challenge. We just wrapped up week five. Um, the S&P 500 is on a tear this year. I think it's up 8%. We're going to have to take a check for year to date. Um, so here's my current account. Um, we did not buy anything. I'm sorry. I did not buy anything last week. I had initially put a sell order on LTRX at 533 at the 200 SMA. It never got there during regular market hours, which is fine. But um, I was trying to see like, you know, should I sell it like still for a profit? Um, but what I had to do was actually look at the charts, which I'm going to show you. But first, I just want to check... Um, where we're at in terms of return total total return percentage okay so ltrx is up 23 and a half percent aey is up 0.46 disney i got for free so that's zero percent um and the s p the spy let's see what we got Okay, if you put SPY stock, it'll tell you. Dude, don't put SPY ETF. Okay, so the SPY stock year to date is up. Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. The SPY is up 8.28% year to date. Um, I want to say we're beating it, but honestly, um, you know, I'm, I'm not investing as much yet because the stock market is so freaking hot right now um so i have 55 dollars cash just chilling in my account um i'm gonna get another 25 on monday so yeah i have i'm watching several stocks but they just went up so fast last week so um just holding what we got uh but i want to show you um Think or swim. I want to show you why I think LTRX is going to go higher than 533 um, based off of volume, based off of candlesticks, and based off momentum. So let's jump into think or swim. So we're looking at LTRX on the daily here, and um, there's two things I want to call out as uh, very bullish signs. Uh, number one is the candlestick. Look at this beauty right here. This candlestick is extremely, extremely bullish. Not only did it go back and retest support, we have support, we have resistance, support, support. It went back down and touched this region. But also look, look at all this demand to buy the shares. This is all demand. So the stock price went up here, almost touched the 200 SMA, this green line. Then on Friday, it tanked uh, 5 6%, but the demand kept it strong, making a very bullish pattern. That was number one. Number two, can you see? Yes, you can. What I'm circling right here is relative volume. So we have normal volume, and then we have relative volume, and... These bright reds, dark reds, uh, dark greens, bright greens are based off of standard deviations of one. So if there's more buying than the regular standard deviation of what's normal, it's going to be a bright green. So we're seeing over here, which is, this is January 25th, 26th, we see it. We see it on January 30th. We see it January 31st and we see a little bit on uh february 3rd yesterday it's friday's volume super strong and then also look at the normal green here so we have normal green here on the 26th normal green on 20 or the 31st again february 2nd february 3rd this is very very again strong volume it's not artificial this is this seems to be the real deal but 
don't listen to me. I am not a financial person, a financial advisor. Um, so I'm going to continue to hold. I'm going to hold at least um, until we start to see some weakness. Um, uh, let me see if I can show you guys the bottom half of the screen. Yes, I can. So right here where I'm circling, we can see that momentum is tapering off, but we saw the same thing happen over here. So what we could see happen is we have, it's, it's kind of hard down here, but we have a mound. So this is the left arm. So this is the head and shoulders like on the MACD. Think of the Mac, when you think of the head and shoulders, you know, you have left shoulder, head, right shoulder. With the MACD, it's gonna be kind of the same. I'm gonna try and do this for you guys. It's not turning out well. Um, okay, I can do this. So let me just update my bandwidth. Okay, so what we have here, and again, I'm just going to expand it. All right, so uh, I'm going to refresh. We have left shoulder here. We have the head, which is higher, going to be higher than the left shoulder right about here. So left shoulder goes this high, head goes about this high. Right shoulder is going to be, normally it's upward. I don't know if it'll get that high. Let's uh, let's look at resistance on the MACD, like in terms of how high it's gone over the last year. Look how high this got. Oh my gosh. So let's, let's bring this up to here. So we can see, and again, I don't know what I'm talking about. We have left shoulder here, we have the head, and then right shoulder. Here is our MACD on the right shoulder, like our resistance. If we break above this, number one, that's going to be crazy. But number two, um, it should, I don't know, like I can't predict the future. Like we could open up at $1 on Monday because something happened over the weekend. Um, so, I mean, I'm just kind of using probabilities here you know we nobody knows the future it's all about using probabilities based off the candlestick the chart momentum macd pattern etc i'm thinking we're gonna see higher than 533 that's my that's my uh final word there and then i want to show you guys on the weekly so we're looking at a daily chart so let's go to the weekly chart let's give it a second to load All right, um, while the volume's all scrunched up, look at this. The periods of lows are definitely a lot more than the highs. So we have a long period down up. Then we have a medium period, like this period outweighs this period. Then we have a lull, like this huge lull is bigger than this lull. This kind of gets out eaten by this, but look at this huge long-term downtrend. Then we have a nice upward movement. Then we have another long-term downtrend. And we are now at the uptrend. So look at these two strong candles week to week. These are strong. And then if we look at the weekly candle, let me just bring things down again. So the weekly candles, um, if we are looking at patterns, we have three falling shoulders, sold three falling soldiers. So like right here, yep, three falling candles followed by three upward candles. So one, two, and then next week's candle will probably touch 565 maybe, uh, maybe up here, 593. Nobody knows because nobody can predict the future, but we have a three down, three up. So falling three, rising three. Could it be longer than three though? Could we see four, five, six? Absolutely, because if we look at the monthly, all right, if we look at the monthly, look where we are in the monthly trajectory and I need to bring it up. Oh, you can see it. Look where we are. We've 
we're creating an inverse head and shoulders on the monthly, which is opposite of what we're seeing on the daily, which is so funny. So we have left shoulder, head, and then we're going to see another downtrend for the right shoulder. And then maybe, maybe. So again, we're going to have, we're going to see a nice move next week, I think. Then maybe after that, who knows? Maybe the next two or three weeks we'll see nice moves. But we are, we, we might, we could, I don't know what I'm talking about, but we could see a left shoulder, head, a right shoulder come down and then maybe continuation, who knows? So um, that's why I stuck with LTRX, L, L Lantronics, LTRX, yes. Um, I'm excited for next week. I'm going to have 70, I'm going to have $80 in buying power. What should I buy? I don't know. Let's find out. Um, anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Bye.